on the record saying a conservative cannot make it in this town now if hollywood has a great impact on how we think on our culture and you have this gestapo essentially shutting out people who are conservative what does that say it's scary to me. <laughs> frightening to me. Yeah, well, messaging messaging is everything, which actually brings this back to what you said about Trump before, which I think is sort of fascinating, mm -hmm. that he's polling better with the black community yes. because he has this sense of swagger, which I think you could probably relate directly back to, you know, rap music and stuff like that. Right. These guys right. aren't, they're not right. ashamed of their success. Mm -hmm. And that, so in a weird way, Trump is sort of doing the exact same, the exact thing that you want. Uh, to happen here. I, I agree, but I think it's another big reason that Trump is scoring with black people. Uh, one of the most underpolled things in this country is how black people are pissed off about illegal immigration. Uh, when I was younger, there was a movie that came out in the 70s called Car Wash. Mm -hmm. uh, Richard Pryor was in it. Yeah. Um, and George, uh, George Harlan was in it. Yeah. And it was about a day in the life of this car wash uh, in South Central, not too far from where I, I grew up. Virtually all the employees were black. I defy you to go to a car wash in South Central now and see any, any employee who's black. Illegal immigrants have come over and taken over this business. Uh, and black people see it and they, and they realize it and they are angry about it. Uh, and the Democratic Party, however, because of what I said earlier about trying to shift the electorate to the left, uh, has, in my opinion, thrown blacks under the bus on this issue. And a lot of blacks who are aware of it are not happy about it. And Donald Trump's position on immigration uh, resonated with a lot of black people. The other thing about, about Donald Trump that I think, uh, in general, not just black people, uh, is appealing to me anyway, uh, and I'm not quite sure why some of my fellow Republicans are, are so adamantly opposed to Donald Trump. This guy, Dave, can self-fund. He doesn't need your money. Uh, Donald Trump was at a group called the Republican Jewish Coalition, and he was asked a question about does he feel that uh, Jerusalem should be the undivided capital of Israel. His answer is not important. He said something like, uh, I'm not sure, I haven't thought it through, and he got booed. And Donald Trump looked up and he said, I don't need your money. Now, uh, there's a guy named Nelson, uh, Sheldon Adelson uh, in Las Vegas. He's a, a multi-billionaire. Last election cycle, he gave Newt Gingrich $10 million. A lot of money. Yeah. And a lot of people feel that but for that uh, Newt Gingrich's attack on Mitt Romney and all the footage that he gave Democrats to use in the general election, Romney might have won. That's not the point. The point is, he is a kingmaker. Um, and right now, he is trying to decide whether he wants to give money to uh, Ted Cruz or to Marco Rubio. He has Las Vegas business interests. I'm not mad at him for doing something to pursue his interests, but the point is, he expects his phone call to return, to be returned. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump can say, screw you to all these people, the people that get subsidies for milk, the people that get subsidies for sugar, the people that get subsidies for this ridiculous product known as ethanol, uh, the, the unions that keep Amtrak running. Donald Trump does not need their money. He does not have to take their phone call. So what this guy can really do what should be done for the American people, which is to get all the crony capitalism and all these so-called special interests out of our government and get it down to the size that it ought to be. Boeing gets money from the government. Google gets money from the government. Dutch Royal gets money from the government. This is corporate welfare, and the reason it happens is because they give contribution to the politicians, uh, who in turn uh, then do their bidding. Donald Trump does not need their money. He is in a position to downsize the government in a way unlike any other politician I've ever seen. Yeah, so there's, I mean, there's a lot of irony there. You, what you're